Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin'. It's D. Boss reacts to this vid by 1111. This is why 2016 was so special for rap. We got uh, Yachty, Uzi, and 21 in the thumbnail. Um, this is the year that they all were on Double uh, XL's freshman list. Um, and everybody always says this was the best year for Double XL. Um, I remember that year. That shit was lit. Anyway, uh, let's see. Why the year in general was so special though for rap. Let's watch. Let's take a trip down memory lane. Back in down memory lane. You open up the SoundCloud app on your iPhone 7 and see that Lil Uzi Vert has randomly dropped another fire mixtape out of nowhere. Not an Uzi fan? Well, then you turn on a different young artist from the 2016 XXL I, I don't, freshman I don't, class. The most iconic XXL cover of all time. All time. So now you got your tunes. And next, let's say you go out and catch some Pokemon okay, on this you new Pokemon me, really. Go game. Or watch LeBron win his first championship in Cleveland after arguably the best NBA finals we've ever seen. This one I was a LeBron hater. Or maybe you decide to scroll on Vine, the OG TikTok, and watch some mannequin challenge videos, bottle flips, killer clown sightings, harambe <laughs> or stupid. fidget spinner tricks. Many oh my god, I was so lame doing that. as the best year of their lives. Your song is over. Let's turn on another timeless track. In the middle of the party with you off me. That's a that music lit. from 2016 is insane. 2016 is often referred to as the best year ever in hip hop. Even why do <laughs> why does every generation do this? Like we are always reflecting back on what was and how great it was in the past. We all get so nostalgic and and are like, oh my god, this was better back then and that was better back then. And 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 watch. And years down the line, people are gonna be like, "Oh my God, take me back to 2023. <laughs> take me back. Oh y'all remember this? Y'all remember that? Like niggas are always just living in the past and in the future. That's why people are unhappy. Okay, we can get deeper. <laughs> we can get deeper on that, but we won't. But I just think it's so funny how this just constantly happens. Rappers themselves acknowledge it. With you talking to SoundCloud, come on, come on. social media, face tattoos, streetwear clothing, and media outlets, along with a new and fresh overall sound, which old heads define as quote mumble rap, 2016 saw one of the biggest culture shifts in hip hop history. As we take a look at why 2016 was so special for rap. Damn, Daniel, back at it again with the white bands. <laughs> Damn. Daniel, back at it again with the white <laughs> It's crazy to think that 2016 was six years ago. Now I'm guessing most of you watching this video were either in high school or college back at this time, maybe middle school or just graduated. But regardless, those are some of the best years of most people's lives. Damn, Again, that's you have unfortunate. To explore in front of you, significantly less that's responsibilities, really and you also <laughs> create the most memories at this time, which is part of the reason why you. If the best times of your life was in high school, damn, damn, Daniel, I, 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 I feel for you because it should not be the best years of your life at all. Back in 2016, as being so great, nostalgia. <laughs> You may have heard the saying, we listen to music for the memories it brings back, which I suppose is partly true. Like myself, I'm sure you guys have plenty of great memories associated with the year 2016. As we already covered, there were countless iconic moments and memorable trends that took place. Coronavirus was never even a word yet, and honestly, everybody seemed happier and more at peace. But at the same time, Definitely. I would argue that we also listen to music because it is good. And looking back on 2016, man, was there a lot of great music released that year. This video would be I'm way too long if I sat here and named off every hit and record. And 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 me and 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 However, some of these new faces that burst onto the scene in 2016 were showcased in the year's XXL Freshman class. The XXL Freshman list is a yearly nomination and cosign from the media outlet XXL, basically labeling the selected artists as next up. With emerging names like Lil Uzi Burt, Lil Yachty, Denzel Curry, Kodak Black, 21 Here Savage, G Herbo, and Designer. Yes, this was back when Panda was the number one song in the world. The 2016 yeah, XXL really? class is the most iconic ever. Thanks in large part to this cipher. All these niggas still in my stock, I get my flow back. Wasn't the fool for price. All of these bitches, they want me with that one night. Fuck. I can perform. Who picked this little sorry ass beat? You gotta shut up. 
This cipher literally has over 200 million views, which is crazy. Shoot. As an XXL freshman tradition, the cipher is a chance to show the rap world what you got. However, instead of being super serious, these six soon-to-be mainstream artists would have a little more fun with it. Who the fuck kicked this little sorry ass beat? I'm trying to act the corner, man, on the sour ass streets. Really exemplifying that I don't give a fuck attitude also clear in their music, the young hip-hop fans loved it. These rappers were bringing a unique sound, appearance, and overall swag to the game that just felt so refreshing. Damn near everybody is successful from that. You easily see how much fun they were having. It was contagious. However, not everyone was loving it. At first, it honestly seemed like the rap community was split down the middle. You had the old school rap fans versus the new school rap fans. Fans of more lyrical boom bap shit versus fans of the newly nicknamed mumble rap. We call it mumble rap. Oh, so y'all got a name for it? Yeah, me and my homies. I mean, it ain't no disrespect to the little homies. That's what's wrong right now. Everybody trying to rap the same. Not him acting like him and his friends came up with that bar. He was on. Mumble rap would quickly become a term synonymous with SoundCloud rap. Although I've always hated the term and never really understood it, fans of older hip hop began using mumble rap as a way to describe these new school artists. Yeah. Like, you can't judge it. It just shows that you get older. Because think about it. When we get older, we probably might be judging that shit. We probably might be like, that's just the times. It's just the times, bro. Let the times be. But however you want to describe it, their new sound was quickly taking over. And it wasn't just the fire music they were releasing that made it so special, but also the way that they were releasing it. SoundCloud, the free streaming service that became the go-to for up-and-coming artists to post their music. SoundCloud honestly changed the music industry in 2016, giving artists of all size fan bases a new opportunity to grow an organic following and allowing hit songs to be made from your bedroom. 2016 wasn't necessarily the start of SoundCloud, as guys like Young Lean, Tyler the Creator, and Chance the Rapper, for example, had been releasing tracks on there before, but this new generation of artists definitely brought SoundCloud to its peak. I would drop a song and Uzi would drop two, three songs and fuck me down to number three, number four. And I'm like, you do that shit on purpose? He's like, yeah, I'm like, you want to put a shit at you know what I'm saying? That's my boy. They, like, that was like crazy. Like, it was real, like, I hate his people voice. fucking with songs like heavy. Yeah. Not this come up with it, but they, I guess they Not this, no, he's like, rapping. They, I hate they, his they, rapping they, voice. They so much. 2016 was also the year we saw Apple Music and Spotify begin skyrocketing in popularity as well. Apple Music would quickly surpass 20 million users just months after launching, while Spotify crossed 100 million users in 2016. Hey. As more and more people began switching to monthly again. payments for an unlimited library of music, physical sales and CDs were becoming a thing. Oh, yeah, I paid him niggas. But again, these up and coming rappers were pulling insane streaming numbers on SoundCloud alone back at this time. Record labels couldn't help but I've been on my payment. We started seeing major labels How much they swoop in and sign these soon to be stars. 2016 was the perfect combination of timing and new talent. I ain't gonna say everybody wanna be us, but man, everybody, everybody wanna be us. Yeah, nigga, we I ain't say, he said. Everybody wanna be in the lane, and, and they know they know you ain't nothing but a clone. Clone oh, ass, nigga. The music industry was in need of something fresh. Of course, we had big names like Drake and Kanye still at the top, but we weren't what seeing new terrible. faces make much noise. The whole news, underground right? was never really acknowledged before 2016. I would say this past year, 2022, has had the best underground scene since then, but at I the same the time, it just doesn't quite feel the same since we've seen it before. 2016 also witnessed many of today's biggest stars take that next step to stardom. Oh, yeah, Travis Scott Scott drops Birds really in the Trap Sing McKnight, Young Thug drops Slime Season 3 and Jeffrey, Migos dropped their trap classic Bad and Bougie, Post Malone drops Stoney, Frank Ocean Blonde, The Weeknd Starboy, and then of course all of the XXL freshmen. Honestly, the list goes on and on. 2016 ushered in a new generation of artists and creators. Cold That's a fact. I started YouTube in 2016. Channel began gaining traction in late 2016 thanks to music videos with guys like Famous Dex and Smoke Pearl. Yeah, because I reacted to that cipher. With a fresh take on something that had been around for years. One of the biggest underground media outlets, No Jumper, took off. Adam22 and his YouTube channel allowed us to see a different side of these rappers with face to face interviews. This is the fucking Smoke Pearl interview. Everybody's been looking forward to it. Everybody's asking us Ooh. to do this shit. So here we have it. No Jumper would rapidly increase attention sure on the then, underground. Sure. I know today there's some mixed feelings out there on Adam22, but you can't deny his impact on the rap scene as a whole. And I've actually done a little work with him before, so shout out to Adam. 2016 also saw the rise of streetwear clothing. Virgil Abloh's Off-White, v -Lone, Supreme, Babe, Anti-Social Social Club, these brands surged as streetwear grew more popular by the day. 
I think it's pretty easy to see why 2016 is considered one of the best years not only in music, but also of our young lives. However, some people argue that 2016 was just the preview for what was to come the next year, 2017. I might have to do a video on that year as well. Though we are told not to look back on the past, I can't help but reminisce on the year of 2016. Thanks to the rise of a new generation of talent, so much great music, innovation and technology that is still used today, and a society that connected over the simplest things, along with of course a little help from nostalgia, 2016 will go down as one of the best years of recent times. Wow, this was well done. I agree. I do think 2016 was a great year for sure. Um, 2019 was really dope for me too. I had a great year 2019. I reflect on that year a lot. Um, you know, I've had several years. That's been great. Uh, for me personally, uh, as far as music goes, um, experiences, all of that. So, you know, it's nothing wrong with reflecting, but you have to also be mindful of living in the present moment and appreciating what's here now and not waiting years down the line and be like, actually, 2022 was dope or 2023 was dope. You know, the only year we're not going to say it was good was 2020. <laughs> Everybody hated 2020. And I feel like 2021 as well, for, for the obvious reasons. Um, but, yeah, I mean, people are always reflecting and saying how something in the past was, was better. But I feel like this is a good video, though. I do agree with a lot of this. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.